Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We are at Nest 2 and we're ready to go to find the vaccine to convince uh, people up top not to bomb the whole city. I don't see this ending well for us. Uh, anyway, Carlos is out there somewhere doing I don't know what. And the nemesis is also out there hunting down Jill. So the situation is pretty grim and we have a huge ass umbrella facility to explore. Mister? I don't like this. See? Maybe we should just uh, stick those knives in their brains just to be on the safe side I ran out of ammo ass uh, this this started well since I ran out of ammo I'm gonna go back and uh, replace my pistol so collectively I just have one single pistol ammo. This is such a bad situation. I'm gonna have to be a little bit liberal with my shotgun ammo. If I hope to get through any of this. Of course. Oh shit. This guy looks like the original zombie from the original RE. Now he doesn't. You know the, the classic zombie looking back at you got shot from Resident Evil 1? He looks like that. Uh, Isaac Graves Diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good, most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere, America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up, the world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately check it out. Wait, I didn't finish it. Dang. Umbrella owns this town. There was this, uh, there, there was this guy they called trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and the daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told. For their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I have learned my lesson. Well, Isaac, you uh, learned it a little late. I, I guess once you're in, there's no real way out. If he could have somehow smuggled his wife and daughter out of the city, that would be great. Okay, so this is the... what the hell is this room? Casually working over that body, he's probably gonna get up. Can we combine these two? Nope. We always have just one half of everything. Uh, what do you need? Trace the materials in the chamber. Okay, so we... Oh, we don't have anything. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta 
figure this out. So it's not gonna be just a vial in some refrigerator. We have to make one. Essay <laughs> on vaccine synthesis. Well, this is convenient. On the roles, on the roles of antigens and uh, adjuvants in vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Bard, chief researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and the juvent uh, samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. You're not talking about just put red and green together, are you, Dr. Bard? Because I've been doing that for years. Okay. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. I got a flash drive. I got a down go. An emergency security key used in Nest 2 allows employees to override security protocols in the event of emergency evacuation. So did this thing just uh, automatically generate itself? I wonder what it's uh, what it's for. Can it be used here in the security locked door? I don't know, but we'll find out. Let's just move on. Let's see if this works. Override complete. All right. Do we? Oh, we don't take the override key back. That's like literally a one-time use. Okay. They've grown faster. That's really bad. And tougher. The handgun is starting to just not cut it. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to shotgun these baby. They just don't die. Oh, there are more of them. If they're both here, I will throw a grenade at them, but... They are pretty... They do move pretty fast. These guys are just trouble. More? More. Okay. I'll never be able to properly do whatever it is I have to do with if I don't kill them all dead. 
even though it may not be the smartest thing to do. And I fully acknowledge that. Oh, uh, wine rounds. All right. this well we can also try upstairs let's try upstairs Anyway, she has that, oh, I'm not actually dead kind of face. You see, the face never lies. So annoying. Out of handgun ammo again. Uh, this is terrible. Uh, we got a culture sample. What is it? A sample of a culture? An antigen sample. Oh. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Okay, so we got an antigen. We also need a juven, and then we need to synthesize them. Weaponry authorization request. Uh, dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that a weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees inter interfacing with the admission and the dismissal of test subjects. These, te these test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Mm. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation, granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow. Uh, with his standard weaponry, if any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate it safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager Gabriel Reed. Well, that's very considerate request, but... Like, when you are working at a lab and you have to respectfully request for high-powered weaponry in or just to, in order to keep yourself and uh, those working with you alive, you probably should consider a, a another line of work. I wonder if that got authorized or not. What, what is this little compartment? Oh, gives me handgun. My inventory is full. But wait, I can just combine it with the gun, right? I don't have to. Oh, come on here. Oh, wait, I can combine the thing so I can have more of the thing and I can have stuff for the thing. Genius. So these are pill heads and there's supposed to be some kind of weapon dispatched here that can neutralize them. What? Oh, that thing is still alive. Oh, fuck yeah. I don't want to have to deal with that. I mean, they don't seem very smart, so I don't think they're coming through the door. Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. 
Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do. After setting these horrifying events in motion. It's incubation chamber, I think I saw that on the map here. It's right here, incubation lab. It's on the second floor. But it's like a wall between us. So, we still got, oh, don't, don't open that door. We still need to make our way there. Hey. Finally, the, all the stuff, the spare parts we've been storing are yielding some combining results. Okay. You know, dead people really aren't that bad when they don't come back to life. Hey. Hey, sit round. Ah. Too full. We have four rounds scattered here. That's crazy. Let's see here. Maybe there's some way I can... Maybe I just don't have to... If I switch to another kind of ammo... Ah, and this thing gets left out. It only stores to six at a time. Jesus, this is bad. Maybe I should have started using some of them on the pale heads. I've kind of been storing them for boss fights, but they're really taking a lot of my space. This must be what powers it. Oh, you don't deserve that kind of honor, though. Back off! Oh shit! He's fast! Holy shit! What is? Is it because these people are scientists? That's kind of against the stereotype, is it? I'm not in a lab of a, just a, a zombie jocks. Holy shit! Well, zombies like their like eating brains, like they're pro probably still powered by the brain, and the scientists got the biggest brain power, so maybe that's it. There, I have explained Resident Evil. Uh, in my haste to explain Resident Evil, what did happen back there? Hey, I. God damn. Ugh! This is infuriating. I'm gonna eat one of these. I'll probably regret that. I was just bitten. And there are plenty of enemies in this game that can kill me at caution. So maybe I don't regret it. Oh, I can get out of here now. Um, please don't let these things out. I think that looks like uh Jesus. Is this where they're made? These look like more like the original hunters. And these are tyrants. These are tyrants. Ty uh, sorry, tyrants. My bad. And is that a tyrant too? They don't seem to have dicks, notably. I guess they're not expected to uh, progeny by themselves. They're manufactured. But hey, life finds a way. Uh, do we have explosives? Nope, we don't have ex This is gonna have to stay here. That kind of looks like Mr. X. So we got different types of tyrants here. Uh, which one looks most like the one Jill fought before? 
I think this one, this one looks more standard. I think it's like the one uh, in the Spencer facility. This one looks like Mr. X, and this guy just is just weird. Right. We're still going up. Per standard procedure. I don't think they're gonna listen to you. Damn it. So what the flame round just did nothing to anybody? You know what? I don't feel like wasting flame rounds. I think I'm gonna switch them to AC round. I used a lot of it. What? Really? Another explosive B? I'm just forced to leave all these things behind. Oh, the humanity. You know what? I need another, I need another safe room. I don't think I got her in the head. Come on. I know you're still getting up. Maybe not. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Jesus. Well, nothing we can do now. different organs and what do we have here expression of concern if <laughs> now you're concerned senior fellow dr. Franco please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at umbrella Europe for completing nemesis a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it how can I not marvel at such a wild idea Okay, so that's how they're doing it. However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like uh, Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-Virus, and to think they will submit to control is art of folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the, the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. Okay, Dr. Bard is not approval of uh, the Nemesis project. But hey, wh whoever did uh, made the Nemesis, are they really going to Berlin to at some uh, public conference and uh, brag to investors about the Nemesis? Is that something that... Nemesis. Oh yeah, Jill doesn't know the name. I never realized that. Oh, is this a Juven? Liquid filled test tube. We don't have space for it. I really gotta make some space. You know that the real irony is if we can just grab these by hands and you know stuff them one against another, they it will create the, the kind of uh, the kind of ammo that we already have and they will be only be added to the inventory without creating other slots so there's no real reason why we shouldn't be able to carry them oh uh, well 
Oh, I remember one, one of them alive here. Hey. Fucking pale heads. Jesus. Okay, we need to talk about this mess that is my inventory screen. I'm a little reluctant to let go of any weapon, that's the problem. I don't know what I'm gonna store the handgun, both of them, because they're not doing me a whole lot of good right now. None of the enemies I encounter can be comfortably taken down by them and they waste so much ammo. But that may be a little too prudent, you know what? Eh, I'm still gonna take it. Jesus. It's so hard to consider this. I don't wanna let go of anybody. And gave me more of that explosive. Fine. AC round. Shit. Don't have any. Uh, don't have anyone at hand, so it's gonna have to take a bit of. Uh, take a bit of inventory. Store of my life. Uh, get explosive A. Hang on a minute. Uh, Gunpowder we can combine to form more. Oh, hell yeah. And now we have room for the liquid filled the test tube. Table. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Thank you, Jill, for the exposition. But yeah, that's exactly what it is. Couldn't have put it better myself. Let's see this. Uh, a driven sample boosted production. Yeah, well, you know, you get the case. I'm not, I'm not just gonna combine these two. Wow, I just combined them on the spot. This is completely reckless. But we got a vaccine base. This is technically a vaccine, but it needs to be processed for distribution. Perhaps there is equipment for that purpose. Oh yes, there is. We s we've seen that. So right now we just gotta go back to use the equipment. And then I guess our we are done, which is completely not gonna be true. We are not going to be done. There is a there's still quite a bit of place we haven't explored, like the entire workers break room thing. This whole machinery room, like, that place is not going to be wasted. This whole, what the heck is it? And the, the entire B2 level. So, yeah, we've only covered about one third of the whole place. So, something's going to go wrong. Something that's probably going to have something to do with Nemesis. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! No, this is not good. this AC run go are you dying or not holy shit uh, I'm gonna use this first Okay, I gotta be ready for any surprises now. The game's gonna create problems for me.
Which is why I'm gonna save game before I can throw any more shit at me. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, I am going to grab everything <laughs> I have here. Uh, AC round. Explosive round. I don't know, I have six of them. I think I'm good. Flame round. And more shotgun shells, obviously. That's a good thing. Why can't... Why can't I still use the mag ammo? What, what is that about? Is this like Resi 2? There was, a, there was a time in Resi 2 I thought I couldn't use a certain type of ammo, but turns out I could. Am I making the same mistake again? I don't know, I think we still need to upgrade one of the weapons before we can use that. It's just my guess. Okay, I'm here. Time to complete the mission. Raccoon City, your salvation is nigh. Oh shit. Uh, what do I do? What am I doing? Is that right? All of them are high now. What am I what am I trying to achieve? Uh, all of them should be mid. I don't I don't know. There, all of them are mid. You're happy? You don't seem happy. Hang on a minute, let me check the files. Is there something I missed? Combining samples of these two ingredients one can create a vaccine base. I already did that. But processing the vaccine base with Proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. It doesn't say anything about temperature, so what am I doing here really?
I don't know what I'm doing. Well, it's easy enough to get all of them at a hundred, but I... Okay, that somehow worked. I don't know why. Oh, I got a purple thing. Let me take the purple thing. It looks pretty. Can I drink this? A vaccine. We are saved. Oh no. Uh, escape the facility, duh. Guess we're gonna go down here. Wow. Go Not again, man. Get up, Jill. We gotta run. Oh, you are not winning this sheer battle of will. Battle of sheer will, whatever. I'm supposed to be tapping it, right? It's not doing anything. And my finger is starting to get tired. Oh, I'm not supposed to be tapping it. God damn it. Well, that was awkward. Not just for me, for Nemesis too. He would be like, what the hell is she doing? Sorry, Nemi, I made things weird between us. Really? Okay, grab everything. This is definitely pre-boss fight, right? But I'm still not able to use the mag rounds. I don't know... What am I missing here? What is going on? Um, what can I take? You know what, I'm gonna store the handgun, or maybe not store the handgun, I'm gonna store the knife. The knife's not gonna do anything to Nemesis. The vaccine I will store it for now, it's more for... 
I can't. And I can potentially combine it with something. I don't know what it is supposed to do. Okay, that's 12 rounds of uh, explosive arms, 8 rounds of flame, 6 rounds of acid. Nothing to combine it with, so go back down there and uh, I... Do I have any more mine rounds? I might. Okay. Okay, I'll take it just in case I get more explosives so I can buy some more ammo out of it. I really feel like this is uh, going to be a boss fight. I don't know, maybe even the final boss fight, because people have been saying that Resident Evil 3 was kind of short. I mean, if it's ending now, it's a, still a little shorter than I expected, but it could be. I mean, we've been dancing with Nemesis for a while now. We're at the lab, we have a vaccine. It seems like... Well, no, it's not going to be the final fight. We still have too much space to explore. What in God's name is this place? Oh boy. 